guys. I want to talk to you about the retrograde planets. Mars is retrograde on April 17th, Pluto on the 18th, Mercury on the 28th, Jupiter's already retrograde, as is Saturn. What all of this is all about, it really represents us to slow down this spring and take our time. Spring this year equals patience. Take your time and have patience. Breathe through these things. I'm serious. Take your time and breathe through. Don't push so hard. You know, the things that we'll need to maybe reevaluate are actions that we've taken in the recent past that just aren't turning out the way we expected. Okay, that's Mars. The Pluto, the Pluto that's, that's just a slow, deep process. There's nothing immediate we have to discuss with that today. Mercury, of course, we all know Mercury retrograde. Just take your time in your communication. It's not a big deal. It's more about reflecting inwardly than it is about taking actions outwardly. That's why having patience and listening and being quiet more often than not is the best way to handle this, all of these retrogrades during the springtime. Take your time uh, through the spring and allow the things just to manifest in the way that they're going to manifest. And even with Saturn in a retrograde um, and Mars and Saturn coming together throughout the spring and then into the summer, you know, we have opportunities to really look at those long-term goals and reevaluate them and just make those adjustments. That's what long-term goals are about, right? And this is the bigger one. And so when we look at those long-term goals, what we get to do with these uh, faster moving personal planets retrograding is the opportunity to fine tune those long-term goals. Use these retrograde planets for the best of their ability. All right, it's about going within and then taking action. So make sure you do that for yourself. So it's not a freak out period, it does not need to be. So in two words, spring equals patience. And if you're in the Southern hemisphere, Fall equals patience, okay? Excellent. Please do your best with that, and if I can help you with anything, find me at nhastrologer.com. If you want to know where all these plants are retrograde in your chart, that's about a personal session. Thank you very much for listening, and go watch the full moon forecast. That is the video before this one on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Blessings. Namaste.